see how much you know about the Medicare business. Excited that you're going to take some time and share with us a little bit of what you've known and just appreciate that you've got the heart to take some time with us today to, to help us out. Thank you guys so much for having us. Cherish and James O'Barr here. I was able to pull him away from phone calls. Um, thank you for allowing us the platform and to be able to be here with your amazing team. I love seeing the numbers. I love the platform. This is awesome. You guys are killing it. So good to see. Um, so a little bit about us, a little bit about our background. Um, we were, we've been in the Medicare business for a while, about 10 years. Um, we were captive with one carrier in East Texas for gosh, six of seven of that 10. And um, then we found the Alliance opportunity and they decided to get into the Medicare business and we couldn't wait to be a part of it. So I kind of want to start out um, high level about Medicare, like what is Medicare? And um, those of you who might not know, Medicare is a federal program and everybody gets on it when they turn 65 or they get on it under 65 if they have certain disabilities or maybe end-stage renal disease or ALS or something like that. Um, 10,000 people per day turn age 65. So the opportunity with Medicare is phenomenal. And of those 10,000 people, you may or may not know that they actually, it's called involuntary, but they have to get a Part D or a drug plan um, if they do nothing else or they'll be penalized. And they're out there searching for agents just like you with a life and health insurance license. They can sell them that. Um, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. Um, there's everything from Medicare supplements to drug plans to Medicare Advantage plans, depending on where you live. So um, the opportunities are amazing in the Medicare market. Um, so get out there. Uh, does everybody have their life and health insurance license? That's first and foremost. Okay, good. So if you've got that, and most of you are gonna have that errors and omissions insurance, you gotta have that, especially in the health world. Um, and then you're 90% there. We just gotta work on the nuts and bolts of getting you the rest of the way. And that we can do. So James, I'm gonna pass the mic to you for just a minute. And I'm gonna, um, I'm going to ask you to tell everybody why we chose the Alliance and kind of why we chose this system. So we, we had the number one IMO uh, with United Healthcare in the central region. So all the way from, from Texas all the way up to Chicago, we were the number one IMO. But we were captive agents. And so uh, it was a great opportunity for us because we were making overrides off of everybody. And we were able to go out and, and help people. Um, find the right solutions for Medicare, but for our agents, unless they were invited to the dance by the carrier, uh, and I mean the dance by if their volume was high enough and they liked them, then their opportunity to become a, an agent manager was very small. Uh, my, our performance uh, dictated that we, we were given that opportunity, um, and I just, for my my agents, I, I didn't like the fact that they couldn't go anywhere uh, and that they couldn't recruit their own agents. So uh, Andy had, had brought us in and talked to us about the, the opportunity uh, with the Alliance. First of all, we got to see uh, from a payout schedule uh, everything that, that the Alliance is bringing to the table um, with, with the pay, the training bonuses and such. Yeah, it, it was a much better opportunity uh, financially, uh, so you can know, you don't have to second guess if you're in the right place or not, you are in the right place, uh, 100%. You're doing way better than the captive agents are doing, um, even though if you listen to the carriers, they would tell you otherwise. Um, the other opportunity is, is, is that you're basically bringing in everybody as an agent manager, so, or a broker, and so they can start to recruit uh, underneath them, kind of like we do now with the National Agents Alliance. On the life insurance side, that opportunity doesn't exist in the Medicare world. So that's, that is a, a new opportunity that you'll have. Instantly, we had, we probably quadrupled in size, tripled in size, because everybody knew uh, what 
a great opportunity this was to, to have people underneath them. Uh, since then, listen to this, we have, we have actually incorporated, uh, as of this week, an entire health system under the LinkMe group. We'll probably run two to 3,000 apps um, with 13 clinics and actually put, put their management into our downline. So um, that's, that's an opportunity that you can, you can develop. Um, we put ourselves with ACOs, uh, accountable care organizations, and uh, that's, a, that's another opportunity that you would have. But All right, you, time out, time out, time out. Okay, real quick. It's like my head's about to explode because I think I know what you're saying, but some people are hearing acronyms. So y'all, I think y'all said more than what you realized, like just kind of glossed over. So let's back up on a couple things. Y'all okay. doing great, by the way. But some people are like, but some of us are just not that smart. So like me, I got to slow it down. Okay. All right. One thing you said is that people that are working at a carrier where they're captive is that they're told that they have the top pay because they're captive with that carrier. So if they're with United, you like, oh, you've got the best pay. But what you're saying is that with us, we actually pay better than the carriers pay their own people? That is correct. Okay. That's huge. Y'all know that? I did not know that. So if y'all know friends of people in the health, like the Medicare side, and they're captive to Humana, we should be talking with them. Okay. That's big. All right. Then you said something about, next thing was to talk about, they don't have the ability to hire a team. It's just them and themselves. They have no growth opportunity to teach or train, but we do on day one. Heard that. And then you said something about you brought in a health care system. Like that's where my brain started to really blow up. Okay, so here's so the health care system. Yeah. So here's, here's the difference. So when we're fishing for life insurance, we're fishing, we're, we're casting out one fish at a time. We're knocking on one door at a time. Um, we're having one appointment at a time, right? And so yep. what I'm talking about is fishing with a net. And so you can do it single, but it's better to do it with a net. And so we're setting up conduits, putting ourselves in food banks, putting ourselves, every single one of our agents is either in a Kroger's um, or a Walmart, or uh, a food bank, or a clinic, and every single one of them will have a very effective um, AEP. Each, our low man should, should write about 100, and our top will be in the thousands. Wow. And our hope is to bring that to your team as well, yeah. and kind of teach. We can teach you that. How okay. to do that. All right. So you said system. So, so system, like like you said, is based on where people are placed and how they're set to market. So, and just like we've learned on the life side, marketing is everything. That's why we have the alliance because of we're used to direct mail and internet leads. And what you're saying is, when it comes to Medicare, with while we have direct mail leads as one system, there's other systems as we get into AEP that are powerful. And then when you talked about like setting up a, a healthcare system or a clinic, so now how does that work? Like when you say you've got a clinic on board. You guys will, everybody on this call knows a physician or, or is, uh, has a dentist. Um, and what you're basically doing is you're, you're creating relationships with these providers and you can give them lead cards and, um, and anybody that's coming in, some of them actually, some of these clinics will actually have a preference toward a Medicare Advantage plan. And so uh, they want that provider because they know it pays well, right? And um, and they're they're um, they're licensed with that provider. So in those in that particular situation, we'll leave lead cards and then train the front desk staff. Uh, Cherish can show you on her phone right now. She's got a she's got a, a pain management clinic that will send her images and and those are those leads aren't costing her anything, right? We're just, we're developing uh, lead conduits that that make, make it fishing with a net. And guys, there's enough business out there for everybody. There really is. Um, that's the great thing about Medicare. And you're instantly valuable to your community as a Medicare broker in your community. People, there's so much misinformation out there. There's so many television commercials and phone calls that are being um, just the people who turn 65 are getting overwhelmed with information and some of it's bad and you can be that person to stand in the gap service first 
literally if I put each person on this call on a bike and I said, you can't touch your car. There's enough, I don't care where you live, there's enough business that you could bike to. People, you drive past every single day a location that is really needing your help. So I'm talking assisted living centers. I'm talking um, senior living centers. Uh, housing complexes. Housing complexes. And we're not talking door knocks. Federally, federally qualified um, housing um, Health locations. Yeah, uh, clinics um, are, are part of that. Food banks are part of that. We won't get in the weeds of that opportunity on the call because there's enough to go over okay. on its own. Um, All right. I probably got you sidetracked, but I think because you guys are just talking about how you started off, I just talked about how y'all expected to do two, three thousand applications this year, and you're just talking about these different things. I just wanted to slow that down so people can see. So, and we'll we'll have time for some more questions, but thank you for kind of just slowing that down. Is this making sense, y'all? Right. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna give you two quick stories, real quick. So um, maybe three, because I'm <laughs> that's the way I work. So um, this Medicare opportunity is amazing because it's it all involves residual income right and it's different um it's a this this opportunity is more like a ministry because most of these plans are either a zero dollar premium or they're they'll actually give you a return of premium like 144 dollars back towards your, your medicare part b so you're really serving as an advisor but it would be like if Say Andy Albright owned a, um, a car dealership, Chevy dealership, and he came in and he said, you know what, I got I, on the Monday morning call, he said, I got to thinking over the weekend that anybody um, that sells a new car, uh, whether it's a truck, Chevy truck, or Camaro, Corvette, anything, I'm going to go ahead and pay you that original commission, right? And then... Um, I've decided that I'm going to pay you half of that commission year over year over year over year as long as they continue to make the payments and as long as they continue to drive that car. But what I just described to you is this Medicare opportunity. You, you get the initial commission and year over year over year over year you get paid. So as an example, say you made made 100000 your first year. The next year you're going to at the beginning of the year, you're going to pull forward another 50. Say you never got any better and you just continue to do 100 year over year over year, then at some point, um, you're going to be well over a quarter of a million dollars. Uh, most of our agents have a goal. Their early goal is to get a thousand people in their book of business. If, if each one of those makes them $22, $20, $18 a, a month, depending on what level you're at, you can start to do the math. That's somewhere between eighteen and twenty-two, twenty-three thousand, or twenty-three thousand dollars a month times twelve. It gets it gets pretty powerful. And it's paid out per member per month. Those renewals. It's not like a lump sum. Now, uh, there is a lump sum after AEP or annual election period, um, but I won't get in the weeds with that either. Um, what I do want to talk to you about is timelines. So I've piqued your interest enough, hopefully, to get into Medicare if you haven't done it yet. Um, but there's some groundwork that needs to happen. There's some preparation that needs to happen. And now is that time. Um, right between June and August, you guys have got to get AHIP done. It's not that hard. You just got to get it done. Um, that's number one. If you want to write multiple carriers, you have to do it for MA and PDP plans. Got to have it. OK, um, after that test is done, you need to have contracted with the carriers that are in your area. First year Medicare agents do not go contract with everybody. You're not going to need it all and you will stay in the weeds with training. Do not do that. If I were you, I would go to Medicare Center. Make sure you're registered on Medicare Center if you're not already, okay? And that's very simple to do. MedicareCenter.com, register with your national producer number, you get a password, log in. And then what I want you to do is think about the counties and zip codes in which you will be working primarily. And I want you to plug those in and see what plans are there with which carriers. 
I want you to look up MAPD, Medicare Advantage Prescription Drugs, and I want you to look up special needs plans only when you're doing that research. And you're gonna see Humana, Aetna, Cigna, United, whatever. Whatever two or three you're seeing on both of those tabs, get your contracts. Don't do more than that. You're not gonna need it. Okay. You'll need at least three um, contracts if you plan on working a, a Kroger or a, um, a Walmart. And it's not too late for those opportunities, but now's the time. Yeah, you'll just need to reach out to Ivy. She's got a list. And um, so if you've got that, uh, I, would, I would say that'd be an excellent way to start your, your uh, peeking into the, the, this Medicare business because you'd be forced to have conversations. 80% you're gonna learn through the training, but the other 20% you're just gonna learn face to face. Um, and we'll give you our, our personal cell phones and numbers so you have that information. Um, because you are going to, if you're doing it right, you're going to have questions just like you do in the life insurance business. Uh, the other thing that I would say is um, you're going to want to reach out to the, if you decide on Humana, Cigna, and United Healthcare, you're going to, there's an agent manager in each one of those locations. Those people hold opportunities to fire ant festivals, syrup festivals. They have leads that come out of and fall out from all the advertising that they do on television. And they need agents that are willing to work. So raise your hand and reach out. And Mike, Noel, you guys should be there doing it for the agency as well. And bring them into your office and ask those questions. Um, hey, do you have leads that come in that we can be a part of that you know we can make dials? You have a team that's amazing on the phone. I saw it from the numbers. You know, all it is is say, hey, we're great at telesales. We're great at phone appointments. Give us some and, and let us sample. Hey, Mike, today I would I would reach out to your your three uh, top in your area and get your brick and mortar location registered as a Medicare enrollment center. And uh, and then that way they'll do advertising. They'll send out mailers and they'll let people know that, hey, at this address on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we're going to have people here that can answer your Medicare specialists and be able to answer your questions. Use the carrier's okay. dime. Okay, now I want to, so I want to make sure I heard that. So, and I think this could apply to some other folks that also have physical addresses um, where they've got space. So, so I heard you say, reach out to the regional or the regional manager for each carrier or the agent manager. Is that what you called it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And when then, you do the certifications, it's public mm -hmm. knowledge. Their name and number and email address will be on the certifications for each of those carriers. Okay. All right, so after you do certification, we'll see that. Now, I know we already have, like, Gina's helping us bring in the United person. We've got a date of, of uh, August 9th. We're having, or I think I think it's, a, yeah, the, the Monday, August 9th. United is going to be in our space, so, so we're always starting to do that. And then the next thing you said was um, turn our space into a Medicare enrollment center. We do that by contacting the agent manager for each carrier. Yeah, so if you're starting with United Healthcare, I would use them first and I would ask some very pointed questions. Hey, I've got this office. I have people here, staff this day and this day. I know we'll be here. Can we do some mail? Can your carrier do some mailers for us and point people to us during annual election period? Mike, the other benefit that you guys have got, very few of the agents that are out there in this Medicare world are not good at the phone. So the first thing out of my lips, if I were you, would be to these agent managers. We are experts. We, we, we do dial sessions every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. We know how to, to talk on the phone. We're excellent at setting appointments because they want to know that information because they, if they're giving you leads, they want to make sure that, that uh, they, they don't run on commission, but they get productivity bonuses also. So that's the back end sure, curtain. Yeah, I want to make sure that you're <laughs> okay. doing all right. That's good. Good to know. Okay. I think that's powerful. Okay. All right. Good. What else? What else should we know, guys? So I've, here's what I've written down in case to recap. Number one, make sure you have your health license if you don't. Number two, get your AHIP done. Do that by early August. Number three, go to Medicare Center, register with your NPN number, and then identify which, um, then once you're in there, then identify which counties you're going to be working and look at the MAPD and special needs programs, see which um, carriers show up at the top of both of those lists and identify those top three, get contracted and trained with each of those. 
then reach out to the agent managers for each of those top three, get to know them. If you have a physical office, get a medical or Medicare enrollment center and then ask them to do marketing for you, bring those people in because they have other types of leads they may be able to set you up with. Yeah, and they're going to, you know, like especially like United Healthcare, they're going to set you up with business cards, um, all the brochures. You can go in and customize the brochures. They'll print them out for you. They'll do, they'll do mailers for you guys. If you tell them, hey, I want to send out a mailer, they'll they'll take care of you on that. Uh, the resources are, are pretty even, unlimited. On even that. with Humana, you can upload your book of business, your current book of business, and do a mailer through their marketing resource center. But you got to be contracted and certified before you get any of that. I um, mean, it's not free, but um, it is an opportunity to use that. And also, I can't leave without leaving the plug that we helped um, pilot the Alliance Lead Program. The Medicare savings leads, the turning 65 leads, they're good leads. Um, matter of fact, a quick story for me, we went to Florida for six weeks and um, I did a big lead purchase before we left so that I can work while I was vacationing and visiting with family. And of those leads, just working part time, I think I ended up closing 22 just working part time. And we gave Super the rest of our duper part time. Yeah. And so we literally left and said, hey, we'll make money on the road. We'll figure it out. And um, we, we were able to sell now. The other thing I want to talk to you all uh, real quick is, I mean, everybody's talking about annual election period, right? That's coming up. But um, you should be able to do these enrollments year round. So uh, obviously it's not AEP, right? And Cherish still wrote 22 in Florida, right? So there must be something up. Well, what we did is we did the research and found out that there was five star plans there and they were giving $144 out of $148 back uh, on on their Part B premium. Um, so we did that research on, on the front end. There are SEPs for special election periods for people that are in the military. So there's Patriot plans. So if you're a, a veteran, uh, they'll qualify for that. You can ride it all year long. If you have a chronic condition, like a diabetes or heart condition, I can ride it all year long. If I have Medicare and Medicaid, I can ride it all year long. If I'm going into um, a an home, institution and you discharge from a institution, institution, you have a special election period for the next two months. Let's say you have a knee replacement, a hip replacement, a shoulder replacement. You've got Medicare, you go home, you have an SCP, a special election period. I can write you for the next two months into a new plan. So I want everybody to go out to the ARC and I want you to print out these Medicare public information. Yep. No, it was, it was too far away. <laughs> but so. the Alliance now has up on the arc. If you go to carriers, you go to Medicare Advantage. Um, it is called the Medicare intake form. You guys are going to need that. It's the green sheet for Medicare. It's great. Um, so when I go out to a home, I have that Medicare intake sheet and I have a green sheet and I'm asking the questions and filling out them both so that we can bam fam and get where we need to go. Correct. Yep. You, you, you heard about the, the story yesterday about Bell Krause, right? Did y'all hear that story? All right. So let's pretend nobody did. Go ahead and share it with everybody. He wrote a $6 drug plan yesterday. She was she, counting that premium. She is, she is banking, right? But during that period of time, she she bam fam, booked a, booked a meeting from a meeting, came back and found $700,000 annuity. <laughs> off a drug plan. So uh, I'm going to tell you one other quick story and it, and it goes along with fishing with a net. I want you to, if I, if you remember anything, fish with a net. So we, we had an agent um, who was lived up in Dallas and he had gone to a life uh, insurance uh, appointment and believe it or not, the person didn't show up. Has that ever happened to anybody? So He's driving home, he missed lunch. It's a Friday, he's ready to see his, his family and he's driving by and he looks at this assisted living center and he drives by it. And that little voice in his head said, turn around. And so he went in, he turned around and he talked to the, the manager and um, he said, listen, this is what I do. I'm an insurance advisor, I'm specialized in Medicare and I help people make the right decisions uh, on choosing the right plans. She throws up her hands. She said, oh my gosh, 
I am so glad that you're here because all these people bring their information to me and they act like I'm, I'm their kid and I don't know what I'm doing. And like, it's a problem. She said, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. She said, I'm going to have you come speak once a month, do bingo, something like that, and then give a small presentation on the options of what Medicare has. And then I'm also going to embed you in um, uh, the onboarding process for any new person coming into our facility. You're going to get a chance to talk to them. And she said, that's the good news. She said, the bad news is, is this is my last day. But the good news is I know who's replacing me because I hired them and now I'm over 13 locations and you're going to be in all 13 locations. This guy just manages those 13 locations, does nothing else except service those 13 locations. He's a millionaire and uh, he did it just by listening to that voice and thinking, hey, how can I fish with a net? There we go. That's pretty powerful. Pretty powerful. All right. I want to give you one other little story, if that's okay. Go ahead. Absolutely. All right. So these Medicare Advantage plans are really powerful. Um, Ten years ago, when chairs got in the business, these, these Advantage plans were really relegated to the, the metropolitan areas. And just in the last seven, eight years, they've started pushing them out into um, the more rural areas populations of 100,000 and we're kind of the first target and then it's gotten smaller and smaller. And so uh, we're really, I wouldn't say that we're in the infancy on this thing, but I would say we were still very early to the dance on this opportunity, right? Every year these plans are getting better. Every year they're in, incorporating more counties. Um, so they're, they're getting better from that standpoint. I want to give you an analogy. If, if I told you that, that Andy Albright was getting into the, the PNC business and we're gonna go ahead and start doing auto insurance, right? And everybody gets to write that check every month and it is not much fun. I know, I know ours is not much fun to write, but what if I told you this? What if I said, hey, um, we're gonna give you an auto insurance policy that's $0 a month. And the only time that you'll ever pay is if you have a catastrophic accident, okay? And what we're gonna do is you'll pay a small amount and then for the first five days, and then after that, no matter how many cars you hit, you came out of cars and coffee and you, you hit eight cars coming out of there, you would only pay for the first five days that the car was in the body shop. Everything else past that, zero cost. And what if I told you that um, there would be a zero dollar deductible and what if I told you that uh, every year we were going to do a complete assessment on your car, um, do diagnostics, we're going to put new tires on, we're going to do an oil change. Uh, every two years, we're going to go ahead and replace your windshield uh, because we have data that shows that if you have a clear windshield, you're less likely to have an accident. Um, oh, and for the people that have a performance car, we're going to give you track time so you can exercise exercise that car. Um, and then, oh, we're going to give you all the car care products that you need. Um, all the armor all, we're going to make sure the things wax. We'll even mail them to your door. We're going to mail them to your door. <laughs> what I just described to you is a Medicare Advantage plan. It's, it's $0 premium. A lot of them are. Yeah. A lot, the drug plans, you know, the first tier, two, two or three tiers are usually a $0 deductible. You get an annual physical, you get glasses, new glasses every two years, you get a, a health club membership, you get a fallen and I can't get up button, you get, you get food cards now, you get uh, transportation. Uh, so if the mic wasn't so expensive, I'd drop it. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm just telling you that, that the opportunity out there, if, if, if you started advertising that, that auto insurance, you'd have a line around the, the street. And so that's pretty much what these Medicare Advantage plans are. Yeah. Um, Depending on the area, but yeah, we can we can do a deeper dive right. later. So questions, and we'll turn that on my brain. All right. I, I know uh, Paige texted me, should I go ahead, Paige? Paige, we're not hearing you. Try again. Yeah. Can you hear me? Sherry's yeah. muted, there we go. Okay. okay, going off of the story that you guys were talking about um, with the, um, 
nursing home or assisted living. Um, if one of us had one in mind, what kind of questions do we need to have prepared when we're walking in trying to get our name in there um, for us to be like the service agent? And then also, do we have to register um, like something somewhere to be able to do that? Couple things. Um, so if you're just walking in and dropping by and saying, hey, um, this is who I am. This is what I can do. Here's my card and my information. You can absolutely do that without filing anything. And I would go and talk to the property manager or whoever. Now, you cannot market in a nursing home for Medicare Advantage plans. Okay, that's that's a knockout. Yes. However, what you can do is market to the social worker who works at the nursing home and tell them about the fact that individuals who would be leaving that nursing home um, has a two month special election period once they discharge um, to, to change plans. You can also, I like the way you think, you can go, where's my camera? We got these off United Healthcare's website. They're free. They're packs of lead cards. So when I'm setting up a funnel, I'm giving them a stack of these that I got for free. And I'm saying, hey, if you know somebody, they can fill this out and you can text it to me. Or you can email it to me and I will call your client for you. Add your value. You are a licensed insurance broker. You can sell Medicare and you people go, need you. You can go talk to churches. You can go talk. You can go do bingo and then just get up and say, uh, as long as you're not getting plan specific information, right? Um, so we, we did last month, we did a bingo. And so we, we uh, gave basic Medicare information. Three ways you can go, traditional Medicare, supplement, and Advantage plan. And if you have any questions, if you'll fill out one of these and just leave it at, at where you're at, we can, we can talk to you after this meeting and set an appointment. So here's how I closed it out. After I left those on the call, after I finished my bingo, um, and I think we gave out, it was at a low income housing location. We gave out tissue paper rolls. We gave out um, just kind of necessities. Crossword puzzles. Crossword puzzles. Everything was purchased at the dollar store. It spent me, it cost me $36 to do that bingo. I did not have to file it because I wasn't talking at about specific plan details. And so as I said, hey, fill this card out. Or if you want, while I'm here, if you'd like to pull out your insurance cards and I'll come by and review them and see if you're on the newest plan that gives you the most benefits. That is absolutely allowed. And we wrote five off that bingo and right then and there. Three other referrals. Three referrals. And I still have two to go back on. Yeah. So um, yes, you can. However, if you do want to file an event with a carrier who does have to file it with CMS, there is a process for that. I don't want to get into the weeds right now, but we can have an offline conversation. Um, but that's if you're talking about a specific plan detail. Okay. Powerful stuff. Good. Good question, Paige. Other questions that we have? Yeah, I do. So um, this is my first year doing this. Just got my AHIP done, going through my contracting. I am going to be sitting in a Walmart in October, uh, hoping to sign people up. Don't what? say hoping. You'll so, kill it. So what is going to be my process? Am I going to am I going to sit there with my computer and sign them up right there and then there, or am I going to make appointments to go into their house later? You can do either one, but they will be filed. Those events will be filed. You have to show up your minimum hours with Walmarts. It's three days a week, uh, 20 hours a week. Um, and then I think you'll work with Ivy on filing and doing education, but they will be filed. You can write on site. James was at a Kroger last year and had nine people lined up ready to see him to get their signatures. So here's the thing. I didn't have for the first hour that I'm there. I, the first three, three, first three times you're there, they're, they're just seeing if you're ever going to come back. Like, hey, is this guy for real? Is he driving in from out of town? You know, is, is he local? The speed so, of trust. So it's, it's they're going to be kind of watching you. And um, so what I found out is as soon as I started enrolling somebody right there on site, um, then everybody got real interested. And so I had literally eight people lined up ready to go. And I was saying, okay, if you'll come back between three and four, and if you'll come back between five and six, and, you know, so I set up, I got in the car that day and I said, hey, I did nine enrollments uh, sitting at a Kroger. Uh, and I said, come home. <laughs> so it's, it's, that's a great question though. Again, fish with the net. 
So if you're doing the enrollments, though, is it right out there in the open? I mean, I, I you'll, can't you'll quite... have safe space of discussing discussing those things. Yeah, you're not going to be. It's going to be one. Of, you've seen the tax people inside Walmart. That has to be confidential as well. So okay. yeah, but just okay. be ready for business. You may have to have a hotspot. You may need a laptop. You may have an iPad for backup stuff. So just plan for success. Yeah. Okay. Is there any tips? Any other tips in general for setting up that Walmart? Like, should we be? Um, taking the manager out to dinner of the Walmart or do we need to uh, like nope. anything else like we need to do or choosing our setup spot or they, they will choose where to go? all of that for you, Mike. Um, that will all be done. It will all be branded. It will all be ready. You just sit down at the booth. All that's done. However, little giveaways. Yeah. Some tchotchke items that the carriers will give you because you're hosting a Walmart and Ivy will probably work that angle for you. But Brian, while you're in that Walmart, the pharmacist needs to know you. Right. Um, if you have any business cards, if you have any flyers, I would absolutely make sure that they have your information. That needs to be your best friend, right. not the store manager. Okay. Okay. Pharmacist. Okay. Little tchotchke items work best. Well, the one thing I would say the first year, you know, I was with United Healthcare and people come by and they say, Oh, United Healthcare! I've got y'all, and I go, "Oh, great, fist bump!" I'm so glad, so glad you're all part of the team. And I wish I could have kicked myself now. But um, what you need to ask is, "Oh, are you on the new plan?" Because everybody wants to be on the new plan, and a lot of times, especially if they've enrolled over the phone, some guy from the Philippines has enrolled them in a a regional plan. So anytime these people are enrolled over the phone, they're not digging into the they don't they don't dig into the county specifics. They'll never ask them. So what county are you living in? Who's your doctor? What medications you're taking? I don't know how they get away with it, but they do. They call them. It's the easiest sell that you can make is what they're they're trying to fish for. They'll learn one plan for Texas, one for Arkansas, and and so when you see that, when you look at their card, if it's a regional, it'll have like an R code on it. Um, and we'll, I, we will show you guys, if you want to do another training, um, we'll go over like looking at a Medicare ID card and what you're looking for and how you can see what plan they're on by using Medicare Center and how to compare it with some other things. Um, I would just, I would go with the, the thought that pretty much everybody um, doesn't is, have you is misinformed <laughs> because we did, we did it when we were in Florida, we were, um, uh, sitting at a restaurant and they came out and they looked at our, the, the server came out and looked at the logo and she said, hey, what is it you guys do? And I said, well, we do, we're Medicare specialists and we help people with senior benefits and we do life insurance. And she said, well, my husband needs, uh, I don't think his policy's great. She said, I'm on the best plan ever. And so we went out and talked with, with him and sure enough, he was eligible for a give back plan. And then uh, so we enrolled him and then I got to look at it. We got to look at it, her card and she was qualified for Medicare and Medicaid. So not only was she going to get money back, but now if her medications are zero, her doctor visits are zero, MRIs are zero. Every aspect of her health care was zero. Big tears started falling down her cheek because she was going to get $2,500 for the dental and a food card and a falling and I can't get up and like it was a it was a big deal and then we found out that her husband had been paying an LEP late enrollment penalty all these years and we're probably going to get him thousands of dollars back uh, because he was he had evidence of coverage and um, he'd been paying it uh, and he shouldn't have been paying it so we yeah. don't expect you guys to know all of this first year in but then we booked a we booked a meeting from a meeting we came back yeah, because they also said, hey, we're interested in some life insurance. And we said, well, what's your budget for both of you? And it was like, well, we want to, I think $145 is what we want. Which is what we just gave them back. <laughs> Which is what we gave them back on one of their policies. So they were still up $145 plus the money they were going to get back. Yeah. But we, uh, we ended up writing four policies out of that deal. That's crazy. All right. So I said we'd get y'all out of here at three. We got one minute. So here's here's the first thing I'm going to say. Um, in terms of the next, people ask a question, Mike, this is great. Where, where do we learn more? So the first thing is make sure you all noted the first four things or five things to do. But beyond that, um, you guys are going to be at our national conference coming up next week. Is that correct? 
So we all know what you look like. So if I don't see a pack of like, you know, fish swimming around y'all, badgering you the whole weekend, it's like, shame on y'all. You know what they look like now. So you can target them and ask them questions. Um, yep. And then other resources. I think I heard is Kim Clark coming in from Integrity? Yep. Ivy Wilson's going to be there. Gene is going to be there. So that's that. And then also, I don't know how I also heard about this Integrity Medicare live event that'll be streaming a few days later. Um, would you recommend that as something to tune into? I have never attended that before, but I will tell you, even with our experience, we have registered. Okay. So family reunion. So do those things. Get your health license. Get your HIP. Register at Medicare Center. Do your product specific training on the three top plans. Be at family reunion, Medicare Live. Do those things, and you too can be building your two hundred fifty thousand dollar year passive income with your thousand clients. Hey, we hope you enjoyed that video, and if you like that one, we have some more for you right here. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button.